Coming up on ABC 7's Heart and Soul. I know where I am now, and I'm elevating, and I'm growing. I'm around positive people. For these kids, college is the ultimate goal. I was the only African-American cook in the kitchen. Everyone has the same goal in mind, to change lives. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Heart and Soul. I'm Cheryl Burton. And I'm Jose Sanders. This special edition of Heart and Soul celebrates Black History Month by spotlighting mentors, honoring Chicagoans whose efforts are changing lives and shaping future leaders. Now, many dream of breaking into the film and television industry, but the hard reality, few are able to even get a foot in the door, especially those from underserved communities. Now, the studio gates in Chicago are opening for those from the neighborhood. Growing up, TV and movies just called to me. Coming from a working class family, unfortunately, that never really was a, a viable option for me. Through Cinecares, I found out about their internship program. The Miracopolis Internship Program is named for Cinespace Studio founder Nick Miracopolis. His nephew Alex now runs the studio. Sheila Brown's the one that came to us and said, listen, you need to have a focus. And jobs is something that really needs to be done in this neighborhood. People often think if you come from an impoverished neighborhood or one that is struggling and unemployment is high, it means that everybody is lazy. That's a myth. Myth busting is your number one mission. Sheila Brown is home again. Born and raised on the west side of Chicago, she broke into the sports production business from the administrative side, becoming a sought-after production manager for professional sports broadcasts. Now, after more than 20 years of running her own company, producing multimedia events around the world, Brown brings her intelligence, passion, and leadership skills to Cinecares. She's from the neighborhood. She understands the neighborhood because she lived it. To see a black woman who looks like me in that kind of position and is bringing people up with her, like we're all like her babies, she takes us under her wing. She was the one person who opened the door for me. She's told us you know, time and time again, I can get you into the door, but it's your job to stay in the room. They get paid to do these internships. And then when they move off and become professionals in the industry and they're eventually offered a membership to the union, Cinecares pays their initiation fee. It is important to us to remove all hindrance and just say, go in, do well, succeed. She is a breath of fresh air for me because she understands that you have to have the kids out there to do the work. See what it does to the light? Over 90% of the participants successfully finished the program, and over 60% of them are working full seasons on the shows that film here on our campus. It's been great to be part of this growth in North Lawndale, and the best part is the workforce is starting to look like the neighborhood. To be able to come back to the west side of Chicago and provide access for people just like me to get into this industry is the dream. 13 interns completed their job training cohort, and the next group will begin in July. Now, from entertainment to food, and one of the best restaurants in Chicago, at the helm, a chef who did not go to culinary school, but that didn't stop him from chasing his dream, and as ABC 7's Will Jones found out, making them come true for others. I worked for a gentleman by the name of Michael Cornick, who was so passionate about food that it became infectious. It was in that famed MK Kitchen, William says he first felt true ambition to be a chef. I started out at MK Restaurant on the salad station and I worked my way um, through the ranks to being his partner. Demar Brown will never forget seeing Williams as the executive chef at the now shuttered MK. You see this big guy in this pristine white chef coat running this fine dining restaurant and it's pretty amazing. For many years I was the only African American um, cook in the kitchen. To chip away at that disparity, Williams took young talent like Brown under his wing. He took an interest in me and he really pushed me. I don't look at it as an importance around mentoring. I look at it in the context of an importance around developing people. And developing people is a principle Williams still prides himself on at his bustling Hyde Park restaurant, Virtue. 
Chef Eric Williams is a very, very influential man in my life and our staff's lives. We're very committed to exposing young men and women of color to what we do, helping them understand the importance of the culture in the kitchen. The concept is really inspired through the hospitality that I received as a young kid from my grandmother. We serve southern cuisine. It obviously has dishes that come up by way of soul food. Things that we've found that the customers are really excited about are our fried green tomatoes with gold shrimp and remoulade sauce. A lot of care is taken in the menu to give the perfect bite, a taste of home with just enough of a modern fusion. Eric just set a really wonderful tone that just kind of makes you feel really, really welcome. William shares his passion for food with each plate at Virtue, but he also makes it a point to reach out to the next generation with workshops for teens at Time Out Market. Recently, Chef Williams and Chef Ty Dang hosted and cooked for 20 inner city high school seniors from Embark, a hands-on learning program. He's always worked in community, and it really makes other people want to do it as well. It really gets you excited about it. In the year Virtue has been open, it's garnered five-star reviews, and Williams has even gotten a nod in the New York Times. It's humbling. I'm proud of everything we serve on the menu, and I'm really proud of what my team accomplishes. And lifting up that team is something that drives them every day. His title is chef, but his role is a mentor. It's a developer of men and women, and we see that at every turn. Coming up... They have a chance to help give back and repair some damage that they feel responsible for in our communities. And later... Tennis is really the vehicle to help these kids get college scholarships. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.